Hey Raiders, I'm Tyler Kinosha, and this is your September Night Bulletin. Hi Raiders, Club Rush is this week, Tuesday and Wednesday at lunch. If you're interested in joining any clubs or just plain browsing for some fun and free candy, make sure to show up at the Quad at lunch for your Rio clubs. Hi Raiders, I'm Kiana Larson and I'm a president of Science Olympiad this year. If you're interested in any field of science, whether biology, the earth sciences, chemistry, physics, or engineering, you should come check our table out at Club Rush and attend the first meeting. Thank you. Hi Raiders, we're back for this week's sports. This week we have girls flag football Monday against Vista and again on Wednesday against Wood Creek at home. Girls Volleyball plays on Monday at Vista del Lago and Wednesday at Rio against Wood Creek. Girls Tennis also plays at Vista on Tuesday and then against Wood Creek on Thursday at home. And shout out to our water polo teams for beating Jesuit and St. Francis last week. This week they play Tuesday at Rio against Ponderosa and Wednesday again at Rio against Granite Bay. The Murata, Rio student newspaper, has a website. Go to riomurata.org to read about a Rio alumna's visit to Rio, the cell phone policy debate, sports updates, and more. A new bill in California was just passed banning the use of smartphones and smart devices for kids in kindergarten to 12th grade. And in my opinion, I think this is probably the best legislation for school kids that has been passed so far. And I don't think there's any other act that will benefit our future generations in the long run the way that this act will. And considering the fact that I'll be graduating from high school that same year, that law will be enforced so just a mere few weeks before it'll actually be to use so obviously i will in no way be affected by this so it's understandable that i might not be the most relevant opinion to listen to regarding this topic however i can't testify to being a victim of the extreme brain damage that i've experienced from so much unlimited use of my phone having full access to it in both school environments and at home but when I was in classrooms that didn't really permit using my phones, it was a different story. The more limited I was to using my phones in classrooms that had own cubbies or baskets, the harder I had to work to actually use my brain and actually develop critical thinking skills. So while this phone ban will at first challenge kids to develop their cognitive abilities, it is very key for brain, brain development when your phone isn't doing your thinking for you. And we may not be aware of it as reckless teenagers, but we do need to acknowledge that our phones actually turn us into zombies whether whether we know it or not it's not phones are not as good for us as we think they are they may be useful tools but studies have showed how much it affects our academic performance and that is why i'm all for this act and i think that this act should be spread nationwide and many other states need to follow california's footsteps in banning phones for all students, excluding certain circumstances. That's why kids in school these days are soon going to be our future presidents and frontline workers, and we can't really have that happen when they have poor productivity and a lack of focus, all from having a bad attention span be due to being on their phone so often. Sorry, that's my cat. Thank you so much for watching this. Hey guys, this is Ms. Fierro in the library. So, uh... Friday, September 13th, we're gonna have a really cool presentation and it's from Save Our Snakes. And they're gonna bring real live snakes for you to hold and learn about. So snakes are an important part of our environment and in our habitat. So Save Our Snakes is gonna come talk to us about that and the important role snakes have in our lives really, as well as educate you about volunteer opportunities they have and also just give you an opportunity with just hang out with some cool snakes. Uh, one of our students here at Rio brought this little guy. He's a corn, corn snake named Corn Flake. So he's real pretty. So if you wanna see some snakes, come to the library on Friday, September 13th at lunchtime. And if you don't wanna see any snakes, then don't come in here. For me, I love taking pictures of football because I get to be with the team, I get to work with them, I'm under the lights on Fridays. It's just an amazing experience to be able to be on the field and especially when I deliver the photos to the players, seeing them get so excited about the shots that I've taken is really what keeps me doing it.
When I take pictures, I try to tell a story through the single frame, whether it be in nature or airplanes or football, I try to tell a story of what's happening around just in that single photo. Especially in football, I like to capture emotions and celebrations after big plays, touchdowns, and for me, that's what yields the most rewarding photos. What do you call a sheep that can sing and dance? Lady Baba. That's all for this week, creators. That was your September bulletin, and have a great week this week. What's up, Raiders? Welcome back to another week of Ethan Inspires. And this week, I'm here with my good old friend, Sam. So, Sam, if you had one word to tell all the people watching, what would that be? I would have to say, always put yourself first because you matter most. Yes, that is so true. You matter. And everything you do matters. Never give up on your dreams and always keep pushing. Even if times get hard, keep on moving because you'll get there and you matter. That's all I have for this week, Raiders. Do you have anything to add? No. No, I guess. I'll see you next week.